What? Bright planets. <laughs> Bright planets, dude. You can see a pra- uh, uh, tonight for basically just you. I'm telling this. You could look up at the moon if there's no clouds. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of clouds where I'm at. Uh, and see Venus next to Mar- and next to the moon with your naked eye. What's that witchcraft stuff, dude? That's what? <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude yeah fuck i want to veer off for a second dude okay please <laughs> I had do. a funny thought last night yeah <clears throat> you know how like one of our old, old roommates you know it's just be like dude like why isn't my like career going anywhere i work so hard i should have just been like back then i should have been like dude because you worship satan bro <laughs> that's why bro you got <laughs> that's 100 percent why <laughs> Because you literally hey, worship man. the devil. We had we had an episode on 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 the old show. I try I, I try to convert these these folks to be good Christian loving good Christian loving boys. And, I can uh, do all I, things through God through Jesus <laughs> that gives me strength. You know, I mean, that's people, why my music career is popping. <laughs> <laughs> other people, I don't know. They had a, they had an Ashi to Muhammad. Uh, I don't know. That's probably the same thing. I mean, maybe maybe that one works better because I don't know. A little more in the industry, maybe I should go with a little little a lot. I'm just saying, Chance the Rapper, pretty famous, pretty Christian. <laughs> like Justin Bieber, very famous, very Christian. Hey, maybe maybe it's just a, a a record label thing where they're trying to get that. Man, I was going deep into into some history of some old religions and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really want to. Kanye West. Talk about mm. it. <laughs> Kanye West had me. Li- li- dude, I, li- I listened to Sunday sur- the, the the Sunday the Sunday church service thing he did mm-hmm. with like like gospel singers. Bro, I bang two of those songs like pretty much on the daily now, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn, I haven't I haven't listened to that song since, you li- like, listen to since it. come out. It's. I mean, I listen. I, I kind of listen to less now because I had I had my my peak with it, but uh, I'm you know. On the sine wave of things, but I was in the rain. I love her boy daily. <laughs> See, maybe a little. Hey, man, come on. Now nah, I told you about the the, the, the vap in this one. When people say, "Oh, song. it's not that deep, not that deep." But it's like, oh, maybe. I mean, everything's a little that deep, man. Maybe you're just not that deep because you you know you've been you being trained to be shallow. I just identify with the toxic masculinity. I mean, you you put that in your brain. That's what you identify with. I don't know. I don't think it's shallow. I don't think it's shallow. I think I think his lyrics are coming from like real experiences. Uh, I think that's the opposite of shallow. I think that's just experience. Could still be shallow experience. I don't know. Like what? Like what is shallow? Like it just sounds like shallow is something you haven't experienced. I, I don't think so. I think that, you know. Like you just write about what you do. Like if you fuck ten women, you're probably gonna write about that. But if you don't do that, you can't, like, relate to it. I think you could say that might be a shallow experience what is shallow though in your opinion um i don't know maybe my 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 thing might be because then it also gets weird when you do talk about the man behind it because the man behind it might have it just might be curated to something that is kind of on on level just talking about women and and, and I just don't listen to Drake music what is shallow for me I might have to get back to you on that see shallow for me would be writing about something you don't experience we, we, we do have different definitions of shallow then like like Kanye West going through all this Jesus stuff, he's writing about Wait, that experience. You're saying it's it's not shallow, but I, I will have to give you a definition of my shallow. But I I, I do want to because I don't think what you're thinking about is shallow in my opinion. But but what you're saying it is it is genuine because they experienced it. Shallow as in like devoid of morals. More so. Oh, uh, well, see, morality is different to everyone. See, that's relative. Mm. You know, you could go to another country where they like literally kill people and sacrifice them to the sun. And that's like cool for them. You don't think there's a a solid ground level of human existence morality at some point? I don't know. Because like our ancestors, yours and mine were pretty fucking savage. So I I think, think I think, I think morals exist so that we can live together in harmony and not kill each other. Okay. You know, I don't think that, that really have. needs to be like 
reflected in music so much could just be maybe music is literally like what people really want to do what people really want to feel so the the primal thing could be so the things that are if if this is the morality kind of in a deeper end <laughs> of, of present in the primal morality is kind of in a shallower end of the pool of morality I don't know, dude. Like, <laughs> so much music in the past has been, like, just about, like, sex and dirty and just, like... I think like, a big part of, like, what... And I know you have a, a, a point for this, but, like, the money it takes to produce a Cardi B song called Boys, right? Mm -hmm. And even with, and you know, creating jobs along with that. But the money to make a, a probably multi-million dollar music video and then marketing and branding, which does give people jobs, but it could be put into a different resource of putting into, you know, uh, some cities or something where, where a lot of money into the music industry besides industry that it does make doesn't produce a lot of value on the, on the uh, opposite end besides maybe marketing western things that they want you to be marketed towards yeah but you're, you're also like the product you're selling when you're selling immoral music is for most people escapism you know you don't think that's sometimes bad i don't because i don't think like if someone's listening to a song about some guy cheating on his wife i don't think he's gonna be like you know what? i'm gonna go cheat on my wife i think he's just like like taking just taking in like content taking in media i think it's i don't think it's any different from like a movie you know that has but like I, about a bad guy my stance is that the content you intake does mean a lot even if someone says it doesn't mean a lot cuz every 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 choice you make and everything you think about will affect your brain and, and your life yeah but like that that won't my argument is if somebody intakes like a bunch of things like that doesn't make them a bad person that's not going to make them want to go do things like someone that watches a bunch of whole murder documentaries probably won't go murder people you know if they want to murder someone that's probably something else going on with them sure i i would still say that's kind of weird to intake a bunch of murder movies see but then that's just like that's <sighs> That gets more to like, kind of like, oh, that's your taste, you know? Who curates the taste, man? A lot, of, a lot, of, a lot. I'd say a lot of these things that are like, oh, this is just my opinion. I like this thing, and I and I choose to like it, and I choose to like these certain things. Are are? It's not as much free will as something that you might tend to believe. Don't you think that if, quote unquote, moral music were I mean, you still kind of have to define that too but music that isn't about sex or drugs or fucking i guess what drake or future or cardi b rap about don't you think if that music were more appealing to people it would be played more it would make more money it would sell out more concerts it would be in more movies then you have to ask why is it so appealing it's so appealing because it's like primal people want to fuck People want to get money. That's survival. People want to stun on people. That's social currency. You know, it's been, it's been portrayed in, I think this was my argument before. It's been portrayed in popular music, just in like different forms and fashions throughout history. What you could say today, you probably couldn't say in the sixties in a popular song. You couldn't say, I want to fuck her on a table, spread her cheeks and eat her like a box lunch. Like you can get away with today. Back then, shaking your hips was immoral in the 60s, I'm referring to. But you think it's the same ideals where, like, yeah, the same primal themes in music in the past? I think so. I don't know. Because, you know, yeah, at the end of the day, like, music is art, and art is just, like, just expressing, like, what you feel. Uh, at, at some point, Drake isn't art anymore. It's now just a, an industry line of making a product. I Okay, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that because I think Drake, one of the biggest reasons Drake is so still so popular today, yes, he has his product music, his radio music, but he also 
because he there's a lot of songs on his albums there's also like maybe a third of the albums are like him writing in a diary there's a voice there people are resonating with him you know that's the art i'm talking about also go back to the if if people are relating with that quote unquote because i might be a little bit a product of itself but uh with the augmented artist thing if people would still have that relationship with things you know i think uh i watched the movie a star is born Mm -hmm. and bradley cooper's character said something interesting he was like it doesn't matter how talented you are it doesn't matter like how good you are at making songs there's a lot of talented people that don't get famous because they have nothing to say and if you have nothing to say like people don't care like drake has something to say kanye west has something to say what does drake say drake is like drake's whole fucking voice thing now is <laughs> i'm fucking famous i have all the money in the world i can have whatever i want why am i not happy mm, people love stories that that's that's pretty much it the, my, the only thing that makes me happy is my son you know and then like you fucking listen to drake 10 years ago and he's like oh i'm getting famous i'm having fun i'm fucking bitches i'm getting money it's interesting to follow the evolution of the artist don't you think that it, that's kind of towards what I was saying? Where it's like, you've had, and this is, this is making stories of, of music, but I, at some point, a, a point of it is valid. But that what he's talking about is, is a lifelessness in himself. Yeah, no, I agree with you, but I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's like, I don't even think that's immoral. I just think that's like, I just think that's like, that's just, this is life. Sure. Could, could you not say though, if, if you're around someone, your homie is a friend, always negative, always, you know, lifeless that will seep into you. Seep I think of it the same me. way. Yeah. 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 But I don't, <laughs> I don't listen to Drake and I'm like, yo, this is a <laughs> negative artist, you know? Sure. I don't get that. I don't get that tone from him. I'm kind of like, what's this guy up to it's kind of like watching a soap opera you know the content you intake leaves a dent you know I yeah it leaves a dent but I, I don't think as much as you as you say I don't know. try to try to create your life as because as you know my favorite artist is the weekend and in the past he talked about women like super like bad explicitly calling like bitches like i don't i don't do that mm-hmm. almost never you know <laughs> like uh, <laughs> emphasis on almost you know like that's just not my character and when i listen to the weekend i'm just like you know from my perspective it'd be really interesting to be this guy to like live through him because that's what i get when i listen to his music but also he does things that i would never do i'm never gonna fucking do fucking molly and coke and like fuck bitches all in the same night you know but but there's an aspect of it that does seep in you and, and trigger something in you right not triggers but it makes you perceive your life in that way or, or imagine it. Yeah, but it's no different from reading a book. That's what I'm saying. The, the content you intake matters. Yeah, but it's like you, you're, 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 you're framing it like it's bad. No, it just matters. <laughs> and, like, yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course it matters. It, but like, it, it, it doesn't like... Uh, my argument is, yeah, it matters, but it doesn't affect people as much as i think you say it does marketing because if it did i feel like there'd be a lot more bad people in society do you not see that there's a kind of like i said over sexualization in in music over sexualization in in society in the united states society And maybe not. Maybe the common man, animal man. Like I don't see. Like I, I have a conversation with a person, and they're not fucking talking about their dick and balls and how much they fuck. You know, like that never comes up. I only experience that in media, and mm-hmm. they might listen to the same thing, but like we don't talk about that unless we're like like homies. I only listen but, to that in media. But I'm not. I'm not homies with most people. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, what kind of books you reading? uh damn i haven't read in like a week so i'm still on the same ones but any a... um anything you learned this week um 
been using WordPress a lot. Oh yeah. WordPress is pretty powerful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Same. <laughs> it actually might be the most powerful thing I've used. What hosting do you use? Uh, in the past, I used HostGator, but that was an old, old project. Um, I forget the name. I'll have to hit up the homie. He's a nice website guy. But be host. beautiful themes, man. Beautiful themes on WordPress. I've been using SiteGround. SiteGround. It looks like shit, but it's like, like the their website looks like shit, but like they got some fucking good shit for, in here. For themes or for themes for tools for like you can literally just build your own little facebook yeah it's, it's pretty fun. it's fun it's fun yeah i've been doing um, that been uh what else have i been doing just fucking just trying just trying shit you know just trying to organize projects find a another remote job perhaps that would be cool yeah I this interview you, with the real estate company make videos for them but nice don't think they're gonna get back at me uh, yeah yeah my, my advice to people is always if you're in an employee situation always put yourself in a situation where you can siphon the most out of that company intellectual property wise and in a good way. Yeah. Maybe not malicious. Might but. have set my prices too high, but like, nah, not really. I mean, especially for for that field, nah. Yeah, I'm like, dude, like, and, and they probably will. <laughs> they probably will look for something lower. But you got a nice portfolio. You'll get what you pay for. Like, my portfolio is not awesome, but it's like, it's good. Like, there's shit on there. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know. Um, should, uh, you should read, I haven't read this yet, but I think I'm, I'm putting it up there called Split the Difference. It's a book. I think I have that book. I yeah. Don't, I don't think that's I a classic. That. Everybody just be reading the same books, man. Everybody, Everybody just be reading the same thing. When we're the, the real gold, I mean, those Indian books. I don't know. I'm saying, bro, I read, I read a lot of 1800s books, more so towards investing. But, uh, uh, and someone brought this up, uh, someone I admire. Um, the clarity of people's thoughts in the past are different mostly than what they what they are now that's what i'm saying dude yeah. i was having a discussion with someone they're like dude people in the dumb past were so dumb i'm like bro they're probably smarter than us there's a there's a, a lot a lot in the foods you know a lot in the technology that is just it might not be smarter but it's definitely a different frame of mind probably like less anxiety less in, mm. different anxiety yeah <laughs> instead of like anxiety for no reason they're just like oh sure, where am i gonna sleep tonight like yeah i got this infection in my foot am i gonna die yeah the the anxiety that we have now is is uh less more so survival uh probably more not, social you know, anxiety now that's where it's probably gone into it's, it's more social world as well um yeah more complex systems that has integrated itself in human culture because of more connection to human culture probably an overload we're probably the first brain of a generation to kind of get the brunt of that i'm sure a couple generations down you might have some different brain structures um, probably some crooked necks and some <laughs> tiny dude, eyes hey man i really try to seriously though like Focus on that because that passes down to your kid. <laughs> Literally, like all the time. Oh man, so yeah. Fucking bad. Tuck dude. that, tuck that chin in like that. It has to be like a thing. Shoulders, sho shoulder blades back. Oh, shoulders up. Uh, shoulders so blades in your pocket. It's disgusting. And your chin all the way in your throat. <laughs> Steve, what have you done to us? Steve? <laughs> uh, I've been reading a lot about aging, man. There's dude. a really cool conference called Salt. It's on YouTube. I think it's towards investing, but it's very tech. Kathy Wood was on there just for people that need the sensationalism. But uh, I've been diving deep into the, the science of aging. Aging is scary. It's, uh, it gets, you know, man, 
you you read books and you read pages online and you you just search up something kind of cool and sciencey and you start going deep and you realize oh there's there's uh there's some whales down here in the waters it's like damn dude just you're just old you can get sick at any moment or just just stops working very very interesting the scariest thing ever when your body just turns on itself starts attacking itself that's what people are trying to fix and you're just like dude like what are you doing i'm on your side like probably one of the uh, maybe would you say that's one of the biggest problems of a human what do you think humans biggest problems are cancer okay probably like you can live you can live like a totally healthy life and still get cancer okay probably and like i don't want to say most people but a lot of people fucking die of cancer and there's sure. no cure for it still i think we're gonna be like we're gonna look back you, you squint your eyes but you can't go to the doctor take a pill and your cancer has gone you literally have to fucking get invasive surgery go through intense chemotherapy or Same. some other experimental shit that they're literally, you're literally a guinea pig for them seems to me like it would, it would be more advanced 